Hey guys, it's Shannon from That DIY Couple. Every time I get pregnant, I wonder which is the best pregnancy test to use for early detection. And, you know, I've decided this time to track several for you to determine for the cause of science, which one makes most sense based on the price and accuracy. So let's take a look at the first response. Not shown here, the, the numbers that I'm showing here are the days post ovulation. So this is intended to be an early test before my missed period. This is the day of my missed period. And so you can see there was a line on the 9th. I'll also note that they had a line on the afternoon of the eighth day post ovulation, but I accidentally threw away that test. And it progresses all the way up here until the dye stealer today, 18 days post ovulation. This test is expensive. It's the one you see at Walgreens. It comes out at 652 per test. It claims to be able to detect pregnancy. The HGCG pregnancy hormone is low as 6 mili MIU per milliliter. Um, obviously, it works. You know, that's why people buy it. But I don't think it's the winner in terms of my comparison. So let me just jump in really quick to which tests I do think are the winners. I've got to say Premom. It's the cheapest, comes out at 42 cents per test at current pricing on Amazon, and it claims to detect as at 25 MIU, which means that it's not really an early detection test, even though it claims to be one. Um, like this one is six, one foot early is 10, clear blue is 25, Mom Med is 25. It claims to be 25, but it, it really went toe to toe with first response in terms of detecting. It didn't detect it on day eight in the afternoon, but as soon as day nine post ovulation came up, I was getting a line. And it continues all the way through till day 18 when I got my what's called the dye stealer, which is where your test gets, the, the, the test line gets darker than the control line here on first response. Did a really good job and for the price difference of you know 42 cents per test versus 652 this one for me is the clear winner the clear loser is mom med mom med sucks it did not detect at nine and I, i'll tell you this this is like you know now 18 days after these tests were taken these lines took forever to appear it seems to get darker with time but you're not really supposed to read these results after the time is called so these i would say like in the actual moment when i was taking them they didn't it did not appear as though i was pregnant within the window and so if i had just been taking this test I would have thought that I wasn't pregnant because I would have thrown it away after the time. Although, let's be honest, who does that? Um, and look, even today, 18 days post ovulation, it's not exactly like a clear line. This test sucks. I would never, ever buy this. The other winner for me is OneFo. OneFo comes in just a little more expensive than Premom. It, um, 52 cents per test, really not bad. It detected it every day. Um, I believe that this one also did detect on my eighth day, but I also threw away that in the afternoon. Um, but, you know, it comes up r really good. So all in all, you know, Clear Blue got it on, on day 10, w didn't get it on day 9. I stopped taking it because this one, you know, you don't see a line per Jackson. But the Clear Blue, I would say I prefer to first response because it's slightly cheaper, 488 at current pricing. Um, and, you know, it did pick it up. I guess it picked it up. I guess it, I guess I would prefer first response because it picked it up one day earlier. It didn't pick it up on nine. But I will say that it claimed this is not the early clear blue. This is the one that's normal digital, and they only claim to pick it up at twenty five. So similar to premom, these two were like I think way more sensitive than they actually advertise. Which is why again I prefer premom. I prefer people to under promise and over deliver. So. For me, I would definitely do pre-mom and one, one foe again. I would probably do first response just because I can't, for some reason I can't, you know, resist seeing <laughs> this type of line progression. But these two are my winners. Mom Med's my definite loser. I hope this is helpful. You can see more videos like this on YouTube on That DIY Couple. Thanks, bye.